You're a cannabis sales rep and you're in a slump. It seems like you couldn't sell a meal to a hungry person. Hey, look, we've all been there. If you've sold for any length of time, you're bound to run into a dry spell, a period of time where it feels like you couldn't sell anything to anyone. Hey, I'm Offenbanger. This is a one hitter. And in this one hitter, I'm gonna give you six of my favorite things you can do when you aren't selling anything. Let me give you tip number one, which is extremely important, and that's have faith in yourself. You've survived everything up to date. You'll survive this. Have faith in who you are, what you represent, what your skills are, what your abilities are. Don't let your faith waver. Faith needs to be strong even on days when things aren't going well. Here's tip two. Analyze your behaviors. Take a look at what you're doing now and contrast that with what you were doing when you were selling. Are you noticing any differences? Has something changed? Has something, the way you're approaching things, presenting things, asking questions? Look, sit back, look at the, from a third person perspective, analyze what it is you're doing, see what's been different, if anything, so that you can clarify if anything in your behaviors have changed that's causing this sales slump. Here's tip number three. Make sure you have a sales mindset, that you are sales minded. You need to be looking for opportunities to sell. Your time, your attention, your activities need to be focused on getting you in front of people so that you can sell things and ask them to buy. Let me go to my next tip, which is number four. Set activity goals. When you're in a slump, the one thing that you can control is your activity. How many new prospects are you seeing? How many people are you asking to buy? How many customers are you sitting there analyzing what you're doing and what your products are doing on their shelf looking for opportunities? You can control your activity. Have your activity goals. Years ago when I started out selling, I was given a book and that book was very valuable to me. And in that book, the author said, if you're in a slump, G-O-Y-A, get off your ass. That means go out and make calls. Be active. You can control your activity at all times. That's why it's my fourth tip on how to get out of a slump. Let's go to number five. Review your CRM thoroughly and review what you're doing with all of your accounts. And I mean thoroughly. What are you selling to them? What aren't you selling to them? Take a look at their menus online and see where they have gaps in their inventory that you may be able to fill? Do you have promotions and promotional ideas that you can bring to that dispensary customer that will help them? All of these things are good from you analyzing your CRM. Now, here's my sixth tip. What to do when you're in a sales slump? Make sure you talk to your manager. Look, you're not the only one in the organization recognizing that you're in a slump. Your manager does too. Make sure you're communicating. You're proactive. Let your manager know what you're doing to sell your way and work your way out of that slump. It's really important to you and it's important to them. It will give you breathing room, it will give you cushion, it will give you comfort. You be proactive in letting your manager know what you're doing. Look, slumps happen to everybody. You're not unique there. Welcome to the club. It's happened to all of us. These six tips I just shared with you will help you get out of your slumps quicker and let them be less uh, troublesome in your life. Hey, I'm Offenbonger. We've just done a one hitter. I do one hitters really regularly here on my YouTube channel and I really enjoy it when you do them with me as well. To make sure you never miss a one hitter, simply subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button that's here, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified anytime I have anything new that I'm putting out here. Hey, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Go out, be nice to someone, and most of all, go sell something.